Welcome to this year's global experiment, The Art of Crystallization by the Royal Society of Chemistry. In this experiment, we will investigate the conditions for growing the best crystals. But before we begin, let's look at what crystals are. A crystalline solid is made up of atoms or molecules, which are arranged in an ordered grid-like structure, often referred to as a lattice. Crystals are found in all sorts of everyday materials, and their size and shape heavily influences their properties. For instance, the smoothness of ice cream, the conductance of silicon in your computer processor, and the absorption of aspirin by the body are each dependent on crystal size and shape. This year's experiment has been split into two parts. First, you will dissolve and saturate a series of widely available samples using local tap water. Second, you will grow your own crystals and measure their size and shape. So the equipment you'll be needing to take part in the experiment are the five samples, clear plastic disposable cups or glass beakers, a teaspoon or spatula, cold tap water, a small measure 40 centimetres cubed, balance or kitchen scales, a thermometer, a kettle, filter paper or paper towels, a wooden skewer, clothes pegs, and optional extras are a magnifying glass for observing the crystals or food colouring. Use this table to record and average your data. You can find a copy of this on our website. So we've just completed the first part, our dissolve and saturation step, and now we're going to move on and grow some crystals. Now use the crystal size and shape charts on the instructions document to record your crystal data. You can find a copy of these on our website. 
You can find us online by searching Global Experiment 2014, The Art of Crystallization. Don't forget to upload your data and view the results on our interactive map. So as you can see, we've managed to grow some really nice crystals here. Now it's over to you to take part and don't forget to upload your results.